In an event that felt like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie, China has officially launched the world's first robot fighting championship. And yes, it's as wild and exciting as it sounds. Imagine watching full-sized humanoid robots throwing punches, landing spinning kicks, and scrambling to their feet like trained fighters. That fantasy just became reality. At exactly one minute past midnight on May 26, in the eastern province of Zhujiang, the world got its first taste of mecha combat as the World Robot Competition's mecha fighting series was live streamed to millions. This wasn't some tiny robot toy event. This was the real deal, with machines that look like they belong in a futuristic martial arts league. The matches took place in a professional ring, surrounded by cameras and roaring audiences, all witnessing history in the making. The robots, each about 1.32 meters tall and weighing around 35 kilograms, weren't remote-controlled toys. These were high-performance humanoid machines developed with serious engineering. Designed by Unitree Robotics, the G1 bots were sleek, agile, and ready to rumble. Fitted with advanced motion systems, powerful actuators, and balance control algorithms, they could punch, kick, dodge, and recover from a takedown faster than some human fighters. But let's make one thing clear, this wasn't just some high-tech puppet show. Behind every robot was a human operator, standing at a control station, issuing commands in real time. The robot responded in fractions of a second. It was like watching a tag team between a pilot and their mechanical avatar. The human decided when to jab, dodge, or go for the big spinning side kick, while the robot's onboard systems managed balance, torque, and impact absorption. It was fast, fluid, and unbelievably cool. The structure of the matches followed a clear set of rules, three rounds, each two minutes long. Points were awarded for clean strikes, with punches earning one point and kicks earning three. If a robot was knocked down, it had eight seconds to recover or it lost the round. That created real tension. You'd see one robot take a sweeping leg kick, tumble back, then scramble upright while the crowd held their breath. It wasn't just about brute strength. It was about coordination, reaction time, and the ability to adapt under pressure. Between matches, there were showcase rounds where the robots demonstrated solo moves. Everything from straight punches to jumping kicks, even aerial spin attacks. These performances weren't just for show. They served as proof that humanoid robots could handle complex, full-body movements with precision. And unlike controlled lab tests, the ring offered unpredictability moving opponents, shifting momentum, real collisions. If a robot's joint calibration was even slightly off, or if its battery sagged under pressure, it showed immediately. And in front of a live audience, there was no room to hide. What made the event even more captivating was the realization that this was just the beginning. Right now, every robot was piloted by a human, but the long-term vision is clear, greater autonomy. Developers are learning from these matches, collecting data from thousands of split-second actions to improve AI decision-making. Just like how race cars push the limits of automotive tech, robot combat could accelerate advancements in mobility, balance, and responsiveness. The same systems that let a robot throw a perfect left hook might one day help a warehouse robot avoid collisions or assist a medical bot in steadying itself during delicate tasks. One of the most striking things about the event was how closely it resembled a real combat sport. The broadcast looked like a mix between an esports tournament and an MMA fight night. There were slow motion replays, animated overlays, and commentators explaining tactics. Some robots favored a boxing style, staying low and throwing combos. Others used longer limbs to land kicks from a distance. There were even moments when a robot fainted to draw its opponent in signs that human operators were using real combat strategy. For the engineers and developers watching, this was more than entertainment. It was a brutal stress test. High-impact collisions, rapid shifts in center of gravity, and unpredictable moves made the arena a perfect lap. Weak actuators failed visibly. Battery limits were exposed. Control loops that worked on a treadmill suddenly had to handle a spinning back kick and recover from a fall. It was trial by fire, and every failure was a lesson. Every success was a proof of concept. And while it was easy to get caught up in the spectacle, the blinking lights, the crashing sounds, 
the mechanical grunts, there was a deeper story underneath. This wasn't about robots replacing humans. It was about expanding what machines can do alongside us. Human-machine collaboration was the core theme. A robot didn't win on its own. It was a team, coder, engineer, operator, and machine, that stepped into the ring. As the final bell rang and the last robot bowed to the crowd, it was clear that something big had begun. The Mecha Fighting series wasn't just a one-off show. It was a statement, a declaration that the future isn't coming. It's already here. Please leave your feedback and questions down in the comments section. Like and subscribe to not miss similar videos. Then watch the next AI video that will appear in front of you.